Okay, welcome to exercise 6.2, which is implementing a central access policy. This is found in the Configuring Advanced Windows Server 2012 Services R2, Microsoft Official Academic Course in Preparation for Exam 70-412. In this exercise, we're going to create and deploy a central access policy, which is going to eventually be applied to using root policies. So let's get started by going right into Server 1 which I'm already logged in as Contoso slash administrator. And I also have my RWDC already logged in. Okay, so we're gonna to go to our file explorer and go to our shared drive. I'm sorry, our shared folder. You see we have one document in here. So we're gonna right click and go into properties. Now we're going to click on the security tab. Click on the advanced button. And this is going to open up the advanced security settings dialog box. Now here we're going to click on add. And permissions entry for shared folder dialog box is going to open. And we're going to select a principal. And we want to type in domain users. And then click on OK. And that brings us to the next question. What is what are the basic the oh, sorry, what are the default basic permissions? Well the basic permissions we have is read and execute, list folder contents and read. Um, at the bottom of this dialog box, we're gonna click on add a condition. And then under resource okay so we're going to change user to resource and we have confidentiality equals value i and then click on okay Brings us to our next question. What? How, I'm sorry. How is the condition displayed on the advanced security settings for shared folder dialog box? Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on OK, and then OK again, and we're going to flip over to the RWDC. Server 1, I need RWDC. And go to my server manager, select tools, active directory, administrative center. We're going to navigate to the dynamic access control and double click central access policies. Under Tasks, we're going to click on New, Central Access Policy. In the Name Text box, we're going to type in Central Access Policy 1. And then Click on Add. In the Add Central Access Rules dialog box, we're going to do Add a New Central Access Rule. Okay, once you type in the central access policy, you're going to click on enter. And then it's going to take you 
I've already done this. I've already clicked on enter. And it's going to take you back to here. All right, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on enter. And now we want to create a rule. All right, so from here, I'm just going to click on close out of this. It's already been created. And we're going to click on central access policies. Sorry, right click here, add central access rules. You can see we can't do anything here. All right, so from here, we're going to click on central access rules, right click, new, new access rule. And we're going to type in the rule. All right, so we're going to type in central access rule one. And under target resources, we're going to click on edit. And then we want to add a condition. And again, we want to make sure we have resource confidentiality equals value high. And then OK. And then OK. And now we're closing the Active Directory Administrative Center. Go back to, well, actually, we're still on RWDC. We're going to click on Tools and Group Policy Management. And then we're going to right click the default domain policy and select Edit and navigate to Computer Configuration, Expand Policies. And then go into Windows Settings and expand Security Settings and expand File System. We're going to right click Central Access Policy and choose Manage. And here we want to click on, okay, why is it not showing up? cancel. Open. Select central access policy. Open. Okay, maybe not. Manage. It's not there. All right. Span file system. We're going to right click Manage Central Area Policies. And we should be able to click it here, but I don't see where we're able to do that. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to minimize this for a minute. Go back to Tools. Active Directory Administrative Center. Just make sure I've clicked everything properly. All right, so here we have the Dynamic Access Control. Okay, I did skip one step. We created the policy. That's what this was. And then we went and we created a rule. That's what this was. So now what we have to do is double click on the policy 
double click here, and now we can add it to the access rules. And then click on OK, and then OK. Now I can close this, minimize this, and go back here. And manage, right click manage access policies. Now I can add it and then click on OK. All right, so I'm back at the Active Directory Administrative Center and I've created a policy and if I double click on the policy I have the policy here and I also have a rule and once you create the rule at this point you just click on add I've already done it and just click on it and over here to add it I've already done that and then click on OK. So now that the rule is connected to the policy, now we can go back to the group policy management. No, that's where we just were. No, we weren't. Okay. So we're going to right click, go into edit. Okay, maybe not. Edit. And we're going to navigate to. Policies, window setting, security settings, expand file system. So here we have file system. And we're going to right click central access policy and then manage access policies. And you can see I've already added it here, but you'll see it first come up here and then click on your add and it'll show up here and then go ahead and click on OK. I'm sorry, add and then OK. And then we can close out of this, close out of this, go into our server one, right click, command prompt admin, type in GP update space forward slash force. Now I've already done this so I'm not sure if I'm going to get an error. I don't think so. Okay, as soon as that's done we'll close out of this and then navigate to our shared folder. Here's our shared folder. Right click properties. Click on the security tab. Click on Advanced, and then click on the Central Policy tab. Okay, it's really easy to miss a step, and the lab manual doesn't give you every single step in order to do this, so I'm going to cancel out of this for a minute and cancel out of doc properties. I'm going to flip back over to RWDC and then go back to the Active Directory Administrative Center. Alright, so we have our policy. So I'm going to click on Dynamics Access Control, double click on Policy. Here's our policy, here's our rule. Now you'll notice that this only says proposed or current. So we're going to double click here and then scroll down. 
And now we want to apply the proposed. This is the part that the lab manual does not include. So we're going to click on Apply Proposed and now do OK. And then I'm going to close out of this and then close out of this. And I'm going to go back to server one. This is PowerShell. So I'm going to use PowerShell just because properties. I want to make this a little bit bigger. And then OK. So here I'm going to type in GP update space forward slash force. Okay, the policy update has completed successfully. User policy update has completed successfully. So now I'm going to close out of this. Go back to my doc one, right click, properties, security, advanced. All right, I still missed a speed apart. Something I missed. So I'm going to go back to RWDC again. Okay, so the step that I missed, we're going to go back to the RWDC. And you'll see I've already done this. And this is in the Group Policy Management Editor. So to get that, if you go into the Server Manager, Tools, Click on Group Policy Management. That's going to take you to here. I'm going to expand Contoso. Right click Edit. That's going to take you to this. Click on Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, and then File System. Expand that. Then if you left click, right click Manage Access Policies. You're going to see your file over here. Just click on Add. It'll add it here. And then click on OK. You can then close this, close this, close this, minimize your RWDC01. Go ahead and do a, go into your command prompt, do your update space forward slash force. It'll run successfully. We can close out of this, minimize this. Now when we right click our doc one, we have properties, security, advanced. Now we get our central policy. Okay, and then we're going to simply click on change. Click on your drop down arrow and add your policy here. Click on before you click OK, um, for, if you're one of my students, this is where you're going to do your, your print screen for this particular lab, for lab 6, and click on OK, and then OK, and then close your folder, and that is the end of this lab, I'm sorry, the end of this exercise, and the end of lab 6.